Okay, how to pick you up. Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, you see to rotate, rotate. I. The freak? Give me Alex's house. No. I'm gonna have to run from something, guy. Run. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to The Windows Are Gone by Scary Q. Now, in this game, we play as a character who's haunted by grief and guilt after so Who's haunted by grief and guilt. After some tragic accident. What did they do in the accident? I, I don't know, but we'll probably find out about that. But after this grief and guilt they feel after the tragic accident, they start seeing a house in the dreams. That keeps calling out to them. They can't get out of the mind. So what else do they do? They answer it. Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't answer something so mysterious, but all I know is that windows are going to be gone tonight. In my dreams, I see this house. Hey! This music. Did I click something? Oh. someone like by running them over for cars or something? Yeah, I don't like that. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Marana. How, how did you find the house though, if it was in your dreams? Like, isn't that- Don't you think that's very bad though? Like... I don't know. The windows are gone. Pretty cinematic intro if you ask me. F5. Who is using my mouse? Hi honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. Is this- are you like calling out mom? How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. Alright, so I think the main character accidentally like, killed someone by running them over or something like that. But I know they for sure at least killed someone. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Marana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way right there right now. Wait, I'm on my way there right now. Actually, I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you. Alright, nice. Okay. You know, for once I'm happy that we have a normal house, you know? Not some rundown house or whatever. Best have to pick up your phone. Alright, from mom to you. Alright, alright, we should have texted us, so. so it's F to apply, uh, QE browse? Wait, what? Ah, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's just a pretty nice house, I just don't like how there's no other houses around. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Now we got time. M to pick up a map of the house. Alright, so we got a basement, not good. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty normal. I have to inspect. All right. This box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. Oh, this is gonna take a long time to uh, unpack. Oh yeah, I'm actually digging this home. VHS tape. All right, what is this? V VHS tape labeled tape one. My family. I could probably take this to the VHS player and play it. All right, we do that later though. You know, this is pretty good. It's like actually a like, homie. 
this is the backyard. Um, what is this? Oh, that's just very great. Palette. No? Oh, we can open this? Why can I only open that? Oh, no. It's this. Can you crouch? Yeah, okay. Let's explore. Is this a shower? Oh, it's just the glass. Whatever. Nice. Oh, why is the window in the shower? I'm not trying to get, like, someone trying to have some, like, stalker look up on me or whatever. In here? It's a long hour. The room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key, I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. I'm gonna call right now. That's, there's definitely dead bodies in there. I assume. What type of room is this? I can open this. Nothing interesting. Open, open, nothing. In here? Basement. That's, wait, no. I feel like that's gonna continue the story. Let's not do that. Upstairs? Nice. How much does this house cost, though? It's pretty nice, honestly. Maybe empty, but we could put some stuff. That's why I have the boxes, right? This store is open. I didn't... Okay. Inspect. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I have to... It'll have to do now. For now. It's locked. Oh, never mind. Hey, why is this door open? Someone in the shower? <clears throat> Alright, nice. Yes! I'm very concerned as to why the door is open in the first place. Someone must be living here. So I true. Right here. It's like a... It's like the smart bedroom, right? I'm not sure who else could use them. Why is this bathroom entirely blue, man? It's very odd, I don't like. Alright, enough of exploring. We gotta unpack. What's this? First box is... Box master bedroom. Alright, give me it. Wait, how to pick you up? Oh, there you go. Nice. Um, you see to root rotate, rotate. Alright, what well, dang, it's so heavy. Alright, it's gonna take some time, so I'm probably gonna have to speed up some parts. I think, put it right here, right? I heard that, like, checking off sign. Do I have, like, some clipboard or whatever? You know, for once, I can appreciate the scenery. Look at that nice sky that's not very gloomy or whatever you know i feel like something's freaky gonna happen you know like when i'm like near down like to the like last boxes or whatever something's bound to happen right here right yes sir right, let's, let's keep going but what the okay box has the room written on it I know I should feel like comfortable by this music, but the fact that it came out of nowhere just makes me feel uncomfortable. Box has downstairs office written on it. Alright. Whoa, whoa! This box right here. Check. Yes, sir. I got this box. Upstairs guest bathroom. Hey. I'm happy to be alive. I don't know why I'm trying to think. Let's go. Upstairs master bedroom. Alright. Why is the piano music done? I don't know, it's, that's very odd, I, like, to be honest, like, when we first got here, no piano music, then midway through, there's piano music, and then it stops, like, I don't know, it's kind of very, um, odd to me. What the freak? Who? Okay, look, friendly. Who is you? Yo? Hello there, you must be our new neighbor. What a new neighbor? There's literally no house around here besides the one I'm in. Yes, I am. Um, I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Yeah, do you live nearby? I do. Yes, a couple kilometers that way. Hello, you my neighbor then? Uh, I mean, yes. She points to her right hand side. My husband and I. She pauses for a few seconds. I live there. Say nothing. Why? Welcome, welcome. Moran is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Alright, can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Continue. Oh, let's not continue. Sorry, no. Um, can you tell me about it? Well, Moran's a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the Aquarius Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. Also, 
People have here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please, don't embarrass us with your differences. She smiles. <clears throat> I'm kind of sensing some. Either it's racism or some like... Yeah, it's definitely discrimination for sure. I thought you were being kind, man. Alright, you look familiar. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's what they say. Small world and all. In any case, we should we know each other now, don't we? Alright. Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house has house has been purchased. And that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Um that's very kind of you. Um, that's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. I don't know. This music, this music does not help the situation at all. I was kind of thinking that she probably poisoned it too. Now I'm like really thinking that for now. Wait, excuse me? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. That's not a good thing. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you're familiar with it soon enough. Uh, Alright then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, alright? She nods and smiles. Well. I don't know how to feel about her. She poisoned the pastry for sure. Close that door on her. She, is she gonna... I'm afraid she's gonna be gone or something. So I'll just leave it open. VHS tape. Yeah, it looks like that's something we're gonna have to do later. Turn that off. Close the door, actually. Kitchen. A plate of grocer toll made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smallest is, ir is irresistible. She laced it for sure, bro. I think I have to eat all of it. I don't want to, though. Alright, I'm done. That, that woman was very odd, but her grocer's grocer's were delicious. Oh my. What's this? You know. This note just says, welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Come on, lady! You don't have to be so, like, mysterious or not. I thought, I thought she was hiding behind that tree. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to man had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter of the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it would be wise to take a quick nap in the massive bedroom. Besides, I was just curious to test the comfort of my new bed. She, that was a very odd woman, and I hope I don't see her again. Wait a minute. What about my basement? The basement door is locked. I wonder if the key is somewhere. Seriously? Wait. Could I get a key early on? Wait, I'm, I'm gonna check every single drawer. Alright, I touched, like, the entire house, and I found no keys, so... Those keys are, like... Story progression or whatever, so we'll probably find them later. I sleep. Ah, I have just a mattress, no pillow. That's fine, I guess. Why are you sleeping? I know, like, slight side sleeping is fine and all, but like, I don't think you'll be doing it correctly. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Oh no. Probably because I was finally here. No. This time, I had a different dream. Oh, what the freak is going on? Talk? Look at wife? I have a wife? 
Whoa, it seems freaky. All right. Talk, look at wife. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Talk. I find my I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes. Just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. And please remember the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Whoa, what the freak? Oh, she died. Oh, uh, who's that? Oh, no. Oh my god, what is going on? Jessica? Oh, what's happening? Oh, no. How did she just die? What the freak is going on? What's that line of distance? Is that like... Oh, I don't like this. Am I in hell? Oh, no, bro. What the freak? Um, goodbye, you probably get jump scared. I think that water dripping sounds coming from the real life. Wake up. Yeah, I knew it. Who's in my house? God, what a horrible nightmare. That tripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? I'm sorry, but can you, like, <laughs> use your mind? Obviously, it's coming from this shower, dummy. Well, can you wait? <laughs> Not from this shower. Yeah, it's from coming from this other one. <laughs> what? what? It's coming from the sink? Or this shower? Ba oh, basement! It's finally open? The freak? Is this mold? Oh, great. There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying for buying an old house. Hmm. I get a weird feeling about this, though. I can't quite explain it, but maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see you tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Um, this VHS tape though. VHS tape. Could I at least pick it up? Why well, I, I can't I can't pick it up. I guess I'm supposed to watch it later. I'm not sure. Okay, see, I just lie down, bro. You got that door creak. Get up, bro. It's time to get up. <laughs> get up. Wait. Bro, I'm hearing some noises, man. Alright. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, that's the phone. Alright. Reply? Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Marana yesterday. How's it going? Reply. Hey, dad. Well, you know. That's it? From that to you. I know. I'm sorry. And now's... And how's the new house? Is all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes in yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Alright. Oh, okay, so I'm just like unravel the boxes or something. Wait, do I have to bring in more boxes? I do. What? What the freak? Bro, I know we're like in the middle of nowhere, but like you shouldn't just leave your boxes like unintended. Okay, let's just do that. And then we have this piano music again. Is that my mailbox? I have to. Oh. I don't hear you. 
No, no, you got it. Now I think about it, this whole like moving out to a new house is just kind of dumb if I'm being honest. Like, you're moving to a new house for like what reason? Like, how is it benefiting you, you know? Like, so what if you saw it in your dream? Like, what does that have to do with anything, you know? Wasting money, you could just sit free for your parents. Nice. Nice. This is ass box. Why is it more VHS tapes? Wait, what? As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself, what was I actually doing here? I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurring dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Oh, so you kind of like answered, answered my question then, right? Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh, or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. When, with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. I get that and all, but like, it's kind of useless, man. There was no point in doing this. But you were forced to do this, so it's cool. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. We getting a time skip? Oh, I have to do it? No. You can now open the boxes, decorate the house to my liking! Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh yeah, blend it. Oh yeah, bro. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun decorating. It's like the Sims or like those um simulated games like where you could do what you want. Toaster. Hmm. What do I wanna put my toaster? I'm probably gonna get made fun of where I put myself though. Where well, let me let me close all the drawers. Gotta have the house looking nice, right? Uh, I can't believe I'm having fun in a war game. I should be getting scared. Close that, close that, close this door. I'm not outside, right? Thank God. Close that, close that. Oh yeah, man, this is fun. Wait, what am I doing? I could just close these if I'm in the room. I'm just wasting my time. Uh, what should I get first? Mug set, glass bowls. So I can put them right here. Oh yeah. Um, let me see, what else can I put? Food bowl. Walk calendar, um... Walk in is kind of empty, so maybe put that right there. Yeah. Pineapple plastic jar, um... Come on, bro. I'm trying to decorate. Seriously? What was that? Hello? Boy, did the water's getting bigger. Seems to have gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this constant noise will make me go insane. Wait, no, I want to continue decorating, what? No, you're not doing me like this game. I'm going to decorate and you're not going to do anything about that. Screw that. Right here would look ugly, wouldn't it? Right here looks perfect, actually. Gotta rotate that bad boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm on. Okay. This could go right here. But I put the toaster. Can't go wrong, but... Actually, it's okay. I feel we could just put it right here. Rotate that. It's it. Actually, I don't know. It kind of matches because of that high right here. Let's see, let's see what the how tall the blend is actually. Okay. Grab that. Yes sir. Go right there. Nice. This is very fun. Put it right there. Right there. Close right there. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Looks a bit ugly, maybe, but it, it, we have to do what we can. Nothing else, alright. Do I like how this looks? I like I could change it up a bit more, actually. No! Who's here? Oh, I haven't finished unpacking. No. What the freak? Oh, heck not. Close that door. Well, I didn't even get to finish unpacking! Oh no, guys. The game lied to us. Or did, was I taking too long? Ah, oh, Guys, I don't think I'm gonna be unable to unpack everything. What if I ignore that noise? I'm gonna ignore it. You know, let's just reply to our brother-in-law. Just because if I don't, I'm probably gonna miss the opportunity. Hey man, how are you doing? Yeah, I, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know, and she hated your guy. <laughs> Alright, bad news. I can't unfinish pa unpacking, so I can't ignore this, whatever. Also, I think. Oh, wait, wait. Haha, <laughs> look okay. Right. Wait, haha, <laughs> oh yeah, I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault. Man, remember that. Right. Stick in the shower in here! Oh, we swimming from the basement. But why does it sound like a shower in here? Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, I found out it wasn't the shower. It was this TV. I... Well, it sounded like a shower, right? The TV turned itself on, and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Is that someone crying? Oh, no. Oh. Big bro. Oh, I can still, oh, let's go, I can still continue unpacking. The freak? Give me out of this house. Bro, I swear there was a back door here. Wait, what the freak? The window's gone, yeah, okay. Should we get out of the house? Bro, what the freak? Turn it off. We can finally watch these. Let's go. Let's watch these VHS tapes. Unpacking? We can't do that anymore. Yeah, put that in there. It's back. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man in, is in the same house that I'm in. He all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as he could be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time. Laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up from behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension. A sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure. Tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids strips and falls to the ground, while the mother attends to the crying boy. The father's indigenous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness. As if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling. Watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where they are now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Remove that tape, yeah. Oh, what was that sound? What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Wait, I'm getting- there's so much stuff happening all at once, wait. So we gotta like, watch those other tapes, 
Then we have to like answer the messages we're getting, and then like does that basement noise, whatever, and then unpacking. But I think unpacking's just there. We don't actually have to unpack. But all right, I want to watch all the tapes first though, since I feel like there's another ending or like two endings, whatever. Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of this house. What's this message? This is random. Yeah. Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to le lecture me to not do that, but yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Um, you know, reply back. Oh, yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. Why can't I reply? Time to see music. Okay. It's not good. Wait. There's another VHS tape I have to find. Oh no. We're not going in there. Not yet. Damn. Who's this? Bro, I don't, I don't know what I should be doing. Let me get the tapes. I need to find those tapes. I know there's more tapes. Shoot, bro. This is bad. There's more tapes. I know there is. But I'm actually getting very worried right now. There should be a tape in the basement then, right? Oh, freak. oh heck no! Nah. What is this? Look, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating. The ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but... I can barely look at this thing, it's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I don't mean to take care of it, but I feel repulsed that at all. I, all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Oh shoot, I'm on a time limit, aren't I? It says if I don't do anything about it or something like that, something bad's gonna happen. Do I leave? Shoot, what do I do? Should I watch the tapes? I'm gonna watch the tape. I know it's so stupid, but I mean watch the tape. Bro, watch the tapes. Come on. The tape shows that a man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and undisturbed. Un his words measured and hesitant give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending that disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they already had happened. But then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? I mean, what's the point of these tapes? No, dude, the door's gone. All right, I need to do something. What do I do? The store. Baby clothes? Painting? Painting? What am I supposed to do with these? How will these help me? Do I just take all of them out? Well, what? What? Good from Jessica's friends a few months ago. The box is moldy, and there's a terrible scent coming from it. Wait, what? A baby photo album. I bought it. What the pick happened? Oh no. Oh no. I got the bad ending for sure, guys. Guys. What the fuck is that? Oh no. Wait, this window. This is the one. What's that noise? That was the only window. What the freak? What the freak is you? Oh, I'm dead for it. Something locked the door. Come on, bro. No! Oh, no! Get away from me! 
Go! What the freak is this? It's from Black Hole? No! Get me out of here! Oh no, I, I, what am I being sucked into? Oh no. Where am I? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. Oh? What is that? Walk and walk. Come on, man. I don't want to die here. I gotta run to whatever this is. Is that person? What am I running to? Who is you? Blue man or blue girl? I don't know. Who is this? Oh, this is someone we know for sure. Hello? Wait, is that my wife or mom? Oh, I don't know, like, who that wife belongs to. Do we have a wife or was that some other person's wife? Um, oh, what the freak? Huh? Let's get out of here. Oh no. Oh. It was your fault. What? Some upside down. Upside down, oh. Such a disappointment. We're in like the upside down dimension? Oh shoot. What? Why are you saying this? Mom? Whoa. Oh no. Can we open this door? We could. What the freak? Get out of here! Get me out! Get me out. What was that? What the freak was that? Oh hell no! What the freak? Anything else in here? We gotta just go through here. No! I'm gonna have to run from something guy. Run! Run! <laughs> These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Guys, I'm effed up right now. These paintings seem to have belonged to Jessica. Okay, I know that. Oh. I actually, I'm actually so scared right now. Go down here. Jessica, mom. Wife? Who, I don't know. Who are you? Hello? She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? So I have a wife then. Did you see the latest paintings I made? It took an eternity to finish. But I think they turned out perfect. Why did you make them? I don't really know. I just had to. I felt... I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica. Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yes. What does God look like? Huh. It's funny that you were never religious, but you always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. I feel like there's some dialogues that's gonna change. These dialogues might change the outcome of this story. I'm not sure though. I really miss you. It's all my fault. Let's do this. Let's be sorry, yeah. Honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him. And he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Oh, I think this change this is the outcome. Oh! Alright. I'm sorry, but I don't. Yes, I see him too. What would be the best option to pick? Oh, kiss. Noise is throwing me off so much. Let's just... I'm probably gonna have to replay another playthrough. Let's just go with this one. Yes, 
I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astonishing and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I don't know if I can let you go. I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our, we have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying. The poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Oh. I hate the baby crying. I think I have to go back down there, guys. Yes, I should go back down here. No! Don't let me in here! No! You call that a baby? That looks like a hunk of junk! That's a pile of flesh, what are you talking about? Can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak from in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous. Lightheaded and disoriented. It looks alive. Oh no. Wife? Look at you, honey. See? I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Lara. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. And Lara doesn't stop crying for her dad. Of course I miss you. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many dialogue options that like, I'm not sure if they're gonna change the outcome of the story. Okay, I think it's best that we let her go because if we say I miss you, we're probably gonna be killed. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Lara misses you so much. And she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. Yeah, you're probably gonna feed me to her, aren't you? So, no. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go feed and feed her now, then. Pity you can't join us. She really meets a daddy. Nah. I know my wife wouldn't act like this. You're some fakey. What the freak? Oh no, what the heck? Give me the freak away from that damn thing. That's not a baby, that's a freaking eating parasite. Join your family, hell no! Let family go? Yes! It's freaking all. Let's leave this place. What? Let me out of here. Let's go! Stupid eating parasite. I'm out of this place. That's so nice, man. We're out. We're out. We're out. Leave the house. Wait, I should probably check the house. Damn it. Whatever. We're out of here, man. We're out of here. Oh, yes, man. So I answered it. Nice, you made. All of my decorated. So I answered it. Hey, it's music! So, I answered it. This is like a very cinematic outro. Yeah, this helps me to be abolished. So, I answered it. Cut that up, man. That was actually pretty good. So, I answered it. 
How many times are you gonna say that? Oh, achievements. Let's go! I got the good ending! Yikes. That's probably the VHS tapes, though. Yeah. Man. Ooh, I thought like, I messed up, like, near the mid near midway through the game. Because, like, I didn't, like, there was, like, I was so, like, overwhelmed midway through game, man. Like, from the bunch of stuff there was to do. Alright, um, we back here. Um, I wanted to get the other uh, secret tapes, so, yeah, this is our third one that, uh, we haven't watched yet, so let's just do that right now. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsing beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings that the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet, I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing with my own being as if we, as if we somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of this own turmoil, his mouth opens wide ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I just witnessed, and I almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen and, yet, I still feel like this was needed somehow. Alright, so we- this story is kinda- wait, the thing's there? No, not yet, I guess. So this story is kinda like, starting to piece it together a bit more now. Alright guys, we back at this uh, whole- Bad scenario thingy, um, so, yeah, yeah, okay. So, you know, decorate the house a little bit as much as I can. This is the use the bathroom. Um, yeah, it's very badly organized, but I mean, come on, man, I was trying to decorate. Yeah, you can't redecorate all the rooms, though. I tried, man. I tried, guys. Oh, yeah, so we only need like two more tapes, though. With the other two being here, let's take these out. Maybe there's something that could help me, like. We all get something out of putting all these stuff down. I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how I got here. Nothing else. Let's just read it. I'm not sure when Jessica painted this. I'm not even sure if I've seen it before. Perhaps it's one of the many paintings she ended up hiding from everyone because she was ashamed of how it turned out. Jessica painted this while traveling with her parents as a teenager. It was still one of her favorites after all this time. A baby photo album I bought and was going to give Jessica. The pages inside had started to rot. I thought I'd gotten rid of this. A few months ago, Moria, what's this? This was Jessica's first painting as an art student. She could explain its meaning to me a thousand times and I would still not be able to fully grasp it. But I still quite like how it looks. Je this was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and was determined to never paint again. Which is a shame because I was quite fond of the result. Alright, let me find the other tapes. So yeah, the story's like, becoming more clear now. Yeah, bro. Look at the way Hello. our wife's just crawling on the ceiling, man. Crazy, man. Alright, I gotta look for those VHS tapes. Who's a VHS tape right here? Your school! A VHS tape leveled tape for birth. I could probably take this to the VHS player and yeah, let's do that. Right here. Um, where I put it? Right here. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, disoriented reflection of a man's tortured psyche. The 
scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings, somehow emerged and played all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. The man's face and body are completely distorted, beyond recognition. If I had ever knew who he was before, I could no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain has reverberated in my own body. The tape becomes a condo for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice, reaching my ears like shots of broken glass, speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world, just like mine. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitchy screen. A fleeting recognition, recognition, I don't know I said like that, that sends a chill down my spine. He's not fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The erupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. The man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkness with recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that look within. Wow. And you're just gonna. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Well, guys, this is. No. No! This is. I, so, I think I missed the VHS tape. Yeah. Oh, bro. Bro. Yeah, that's that's really sucks honestly. It's just go let's just continue with the ending. Honey, yeah, I think it's time for I let you go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not getting the bad ending. I know it's gonna be a waste, but like I'd rather leave this on a good note instead of a bit note, alright? I can't join you. Yeah. I don't care, that's not our baby, man. Your baby's long gone. This is just some evil entity and yeah. I have no idea like what with this means, man. It's just brutal. Bro. Just my family and I uh gonna go through here. Oh that really sucks. We're leaving bro, let family go. I know I just wasted an entire playthrough. Wait, not really though. I got two extra new tapes, you know? I no just one extra new tape. Better than nothing, I suppose. Man. Maybe, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, maybe the VHS tape might be in here now. Yes, wait. We might be able to find another VHS tape. Let's do that. Yeah, GG's, man. There's no other tapes. That, very, that sucks a lot, honestly. Yeah, it's all the VHS tapes. You know? No other ones. Maybe the last tape we watched was the last tape. Hopefully, man. Let's leave this house. I'm moving out. You guys know that song? No? Oh, okay. I checked. And... Everyone only got like 4 out of 5 tapes. That's the most I've seen happen. I never saw anyone give 5 out of 5 tapes. So I'm not sure if that... If there's only actually 4 tapes in. What the? I didn't even click anything. Yeah, it looks like that there was only four tapes. I think the fifth tape might have just been like a mistypo. Or there's just a really hidden tape. Which I'm not looking for. But yeah, with all those, with most of the tapes collected, the story we saw, the scenes, and like the interactions with like what was going on, I think I have an idea on what the main base of the story was. It's just a theory, so I could be wrong, and I'm not only a theorist. It starts from the beginning of the husband was driving her wife to the hospital to give birth, but the wife gave birth on the spot. I'm guessing, like, the husband didn't have enough time to go to the hospital. Like, he couldn't make it in time to the hospital, so the wife and the child died on the spot. So that's why this guy is haunted by grief, and 
Like, he feels guilty that he couldn't make it in time. That's what the game mentions a lot, I think. Now, after that, I'm not sure what was going on since we had that interaction with that neighbor or whatever. And, like, they gave us, like, food, which I feel like would have slays. And that might have been the reason why we saw these weird hallucinations and all that stuff. Or, it was just bad. And it was, it was like, actual entities happening and stuff. But, yeah, um, from there on, everything's just, like, I'm not sure, man. I'm not really sure if, like, the entity thing was for real or if it was just a hallucination that the neighbor might have caused. And those tapes... This man definitely experienced the same thing, but I'm not entirely sure what happened in those tapes either. That's all I know, man. I'm not very really good at theorizing. So yeah, this was the game called The Windows Are Gone. Very good, good game. Um, only got the good ending. I could have gotten the bad ending, but didn't want to do that. Are you leaving this on the good note, right? Yeah, but like I said, very good game. I actually really enjoy this one. This is probably one of the best games I've ever played. But with that said, until next time.